Good morning, everybody. Let's talk about the prophetic word again today. Second Kings chapter five. Your homework today is Second Kings chapter five. If you would like to read that for your homework, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking. And if you would like to give, there's information to give towards this ministry in the description part of this channel below this video. Okay. Let's focus on the first verse, 2 Kings chapter 5, verse 1. This is a part of a long study of last night's live. If, you, if you'd like to take care, take a look at that, look at the live broadcast. With that being said, 2 Kings chapter 5, beginning in verse 1. Now Naaman, commander of the army of the king of Syria, was a great and honorable man in the eyes of his master. Because by him the Lord had given victory to Syria, he was also a mighty man of valor, but a leper. How many of us are limited? Every one of us, I should rephrase that. Every one of us listening to this video are limited in one capacity or another. But I want you to know that God is the kind of God that will move in your life, in my life, in our lives, with our limitations. Don't think that God is limited by your limitations. He wasn't here. Look at this again. Look how Naaman is described as a commander of the army of the king of, of Syria. This man was in charge of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of men, was a great and honorable, honorable man in the eyes of his master. Because by him, the Lord had given victory to Syria. So the Lord was determined to show that he can, he can produce victory in a person's life, even in great limitations. You may be listening to this video and you are limited greatly. You are in a very difficult circumstance, somewhat like this Naaman he had leprosy. We didn't know what stage the leprosy was, but of course we also know that leprosy, even to this day, thousands of years later, does not have a cure. And this man was still a commander, the commander of the army of the king of Syria, was a great and honorable man, and he was also a mighty man of valor with leprosy. And the Lord is saying to you, I want to do great things for you with your limitations. And if you will not let me do that, and your focus is more on the leprosy, you're not going to be able to see what I want to do in your life with it. You are too focused on removing that one thing and in order to do those other things. And God says, I want to keep that one thing so I can do those other things. Reference this to 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 9. God bless you guys.